Hi, this is Oscar. Welcome to another How with ServiceNow. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to import data via email. It could happen that a particular schedule from a third-party server sent an email with a spreadsheet attached to our ServiceNow instance. Or it could be a user sending just an email with the same spreadsheet attached. In the first step, we're going to receive an inbound email into the sys email table and the record will have attached the spreadsheet. On the second step, we're going to trigger a predefined schedule import that is associated with a data source and transfer map by using an inbound action. On the third step, schedule import will run, loading the data from the spreadsheet and then executing the transfer map. On the last step, once our target table is populated with the data, we're going to instruct our schedule import to delete any attachments from the data source so we can have everything ready for the next cycle to import data. Okay, so now let me show you all the artifacts that are needed for this solution. So as you will find in the update set, I created an application called import email data with some modules for the artifacts that are gonna be leveraged for this solution. So the first one I want to show you is the data source daily user. So um, what I would ask you to do is to grab your uh, file, your spreadsheet, and just do an import as the way you would do normally, manually within ServiceNow in order to create the data source, in order to create the import set table, and then create the transfer map. So I'm not gonna show you that part, so just consider that we already done that, and we're just starting from the point where we already have those three things, the data source, the transfer map, and the import set table okay um the one thing i want you to notice is that there is no file attached in the data source okay so we're gonna start uh, with no file attached okay and then also another thing that is important is to create the scheduled data import this is out of the box from service now where you would select the data source that you want to run correct and um, of course you can uh, you know select how often you want to run it here for for the sake of this solution that i'm presenting uh, we're gonna select the run type as once okay so we're it's just gonna run once why because we're going to execute that through the inbound email this particular scheduled data import Something very important to notice here is the pause script. So here I have a class that I also included as part of the solution, which is uh, actually doing the actual delete of the attachments from the data source. So this means that once the scheduled data import runs and completes, after the import in this post script is going to delete the file attached in the data source okay so in order to make it available and be ready for the next data import cycle the next artifacts i want to show you are actually two properties one for the schedule import um, this contains the sysid for the schedule import and the second one is uh, the sysid of the data source so remember best practice is if you're going to leverage sysids use system properties the following artifact is our inbound email action so this one is the one that is going to take the spreadsheet and copy that into the data source so this is the part where we are copying the entire file to the data source. Finally, uh, we have a script include that we are actually calling right here, which is the import data load util. 
and here what we're calling is the function to execute the import okay so as soon as we copy the file to the data source we want to execute the schedule import and we can do so by code and this is why we have this script include here um, to execute the import we're actually pulling the sysid from the system property we're checking whether it is a valid record and then we're just leveraging the API from ServiceNow to trigger the synchronizer and execute the schedule import. And finally, what we are attempting to load here is actually users containing the word Marvel on the email ID. And let me show you the spreadsheet. This is exactly the data we want to load. So we have three records, we have four columns and all of this data is already um, you know the fields are already mapped with the transfer map so uh, our goal here is to load these three records in the users table okay so the last thing to show you is the actual inbound email that we have received and as we can see we have the spreadsheet attached on the email and we are going to reprocess the email in order to load the data. So I'm just going to click on reprocess email and expect the users to be loaded. And now, as you can see, I have the three records for the three users that I had in the spreadsheet. Let me quickly show you one of the things that I also have, which is the logs. Remember, on the code, I'm sending information to the logs. So this is actually telling me that um, the inbound email was processed, the attachment was copied, the file name was users data load, that was a spreadsheet. Then um, the import of the data was triggered and executed with the schedule import. And finally, um, the attachment was deleted successfully from the data source. So if we go back just to confirm in the data source, I don't have any, any spreadsheet attached because the schedule import already deleted the file in the post script. So, and this is how easy you can bring data via email into ServiceNow to any table you want using out-of-the-box features. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode and please don't forget to subscribe.